Before we begin this video, please like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Straight to the Point Tech. I'm back again with another video. Um, and for today's video, we're going to be talking about the best settings to utilize for the Lenovo Legion Go. Now, I know, you know, in spite of the Legion Go 2 um, information being released, and then the Lenovo Legion Go uh, S, both variants, the Steam variant, the Windows 11 variant, and then the Lenovo Legion Go 2 prototype um, being, uh, again, you know, announced and displayed and demoed. There are still a lot of people that are picking up the Lenovo Legion Go as their first device. So hello all to you. And I want to show you the best settings to utilize to set up your Lenovo Legion Go. So happy Monday. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right. So first things first, right? You have what you call your Legion settings button, which is this guy right here in the top right corner. Now, it can be a little annoying at times to press it because sometimes you got to press it multiple times to get it to respond. Sometimes you got to press it one time, sometimes you got to hold it. But in this case, let's take a look here and see. Yep. So it didn't respond. So let's hold it. We're holding it now. This is what I'm saying. So let's give it a second here. Okay, all right, so as you can see here, you select it one time or you tap it, whatever, and this is gonna bring up your Lenovo Legion settings, okay? Now, um, this is not Legion space, this is just something different. So right here, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and go over all these things with you. Um, so let's just take this here and put it on performance right now. Okay, so you have different settings here, right? for not only visual fidelity and everything else, but performance as far as like how much heat is being drawn, how much CPU and GPU power is being used. So this little guy right here, excuse me, oh my gosh, which is at which I have selected first is performance, right? Self-explanatory. Again, GPU power, CPU power being output for games. This is going to determine frames per second. Or this is going to determine, um, you know, uh, how fluid your game runs, elements, you know, can you turn on ray tracing, can you turn it off, all these things, right? So performance stock is set to, I believe, minimum at least 25 watts, okay? And then you have power saving, which I believe takes the device down to about um, maybe uh, 15 watts, okay? So when you turn it down to 15 watts, you get less performance, meaning less frames per second, you know, um, and then the actual visuals decrease as well. But this is self-explanatory. This is for power saving, right? So this is to preserve your battery for the games that you're playing so you can play longer, right? And then you have what you call custom one and custom two. So let's start off with custom one, right? Which I use all the time, okay? So custom is just basically utilized for you setting and sliding your wattage. Now, I've stated this before in previous videos. So these guys right here, all three of these guys, all play a part and do things different. But this right here, this guy right here, where it says TDP, this right here determines what this is, SPPT and FPPT. These automatically adjust and scale up and down by themselves according to what you have the TDP set to, right? So I have my TDP set to 25 watts and 25 watts is the perfect medium. And here's the reason why. 25 watts is set to the perfect medium or the perfect medium rather, excuse me, because you get not only great frames per second, but you get great visual fidelity as well, right? So this device obviously, you know, matches out at um, 1600p, right? Which is a little bit above, you know, 1440p, 2K. And a lot of the games that we play on this device or will play, it's no point of trying to play that 1600p because it's going to burn your battery very fast, right? So the perfect visual display, I suggest, is 1080p, 800p. Um, you know, you can do 900p. I mean, you can do a little higher or close to 1080p. It's up to you, right? But the wattage is going to determine how many frames per second, again, and what your visual fidelity is as far as what you set it to. So for me... In a perfect world, if I'm playing a PC game, Max Payne, um, if I'm playing um, Space Marine 2, 
if I'm playing Death Stranding, if I'm playing Spider-Man, um, if I'm playing Hogwarts, I like to keep it at at least between 900 to 1080p, right? And the reason being is because I'm not pushing my CPU and GPU so hard visually that there is going to be something compensated for the visuals that I'm trying to push for. For example, there's no way you're going to play most games at 1600p at 100 plus frames per second without there being some sort of uh, issue with either the visuals going down or the frames per second suffering very badly. And I'm talking about below 30 frames per second, like, you know, 25, 20, uh, 19. That's just because this is an APU, guys. An APU is a GPU and CPU implemented together, right? Which is essentially a mobile chip. Doesn't have the power of RTX 3060, 3080, 4080 Ti, it doesn't have that kind of power. Put it like this. The Lenovo Legion Ghost power is equal to the PS4 OG, not even a pro. Just, just the PS4 OG. I'll give it that, right? So we got to, like, take things with a grain of salt here when it comes to, you know, adjusting these settings or listening to other folks say, hey, you could I play all my games at 1600p. They're not telling you that the frame rate is going to suffer significantly. So... My advice to you all, now that I got that out of the way, is the perfect medium is to set your wattage. So set your performance to custom, right? Set your wattage, excuse me, set your wattage to 25 watts. That's perfect for you. And again, SPPT and FPPT will automatically adjust itself. So 25 watts is perfect. Battery life decent. You might get about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, depending on the game. If the game is GPU and CPU intensive, then you know there's nothing you can do to control that. But 25 watts is perfect. If you want to go to 20 watts, that's even fine as well. You still could play most games at 800p, which is still great. 800p, I recommend as well. Still be able to get 60 to 80 to 90 frames per second, depending upon the game. Remember also, a lot of these games have in-game frame gen, right? A lot of them support AMD FSR uh, 1, AMD FSR 2, XCSS, right? So, um you're able to turn on these in-game frame gen, op frame gen options and get more frames per second. So keep that in mind as well. But 800p works as well. So now that we got that out of the way, 25 to 20 watts, right? It's perfect. Now, if you want to set it to 30 watts, my recommendation is get you a dock like I have. This is a Be Creators dock, right? A docking station. Plug your device into the um, outlet. Make sure you get a, a 100 watt because this be creators docking station and most docking stations, the output port is 20, 100, excuse me, 100 watts. Make sure you get a 100 watt cable to match that as well. So that way you get fast charging and then you also are able to make sure your device is getting the correct power output, right? So 100 watts there. Um, and you can turn your device up to 30 watts and play all your games comfortably with no problem. You know that you have it plugged in so you don't have to worry about Oh man, my batteries, you know, my battery can last 30 minutes, you know, because I'm playing, you know, at 30 watts. You know, if you have it plugged in, you got your Xbox controller, or if you decide to play with a long, you know, USB C charge cable, that's fine. But you know, you have that, you know, um, safety net, safety blanket where um, your device is plugged in and you're getting 30 watts and you don't have to worry about the battery dying. So that's up to you. That's optional. 30 watts, just make sure you're plugged in. But now that we got performance out of the way, the next option is here. So general, where you have your resolution display, which is your refresh rate, and then your you know frame monitor uh, counter here. Okay, so what I like to keep it on as far as resolution goes, because this is self-explanatory, right? Well, brightness, I keep it at 80. You know, let's just say that. I don't turn it to 100 or 95, because again, that's battery life burner. But I keep it at 80. Um, and then as far as resolution goes, um, I keep my display at 1920 by 1200 because I know if I'm playing certain games, I can adjust the resolution between 800p, 900p, 1080p, or a little above, which is 1200p. So keep it there. If you want to set it to 1280 by 800, that's fine. Just know you have between 1280, I mean, 800p max, 720p, and then below that, 540p as well. It's up to you, right? You get better battery life, even better, but that's up to you. But I like my, I still like visuals, so I like lines to be set to 1920 by 1200. Um, the display refresh rate 60 hertz or 144 hertz. Um, some games require you to have it at 60. Some some games benefit from 144 hertz. But keep in mind, 
Um, you will run into some display issues sometimes, alternating between full screen and then alternating between windowed screen, um, you know, as far as your display goes on certain games. So what you want to do is, is just test this out and play with this. Um, this does not support VRR, which, you know, sadly, but it doesn't. But um, 60 hertz and 144 hertz is your option. So what my recommendation is, is, is you know, just test it out, see which games benefit from, you know, either of these and go from there, especially if you like to play in window mode or full screen mode. Um, but me personally, I like to use um, either or depending on the game. So that's up to you. And then frame monitor, right? So as you can see, the uh, frame uh, monitor populated in the top left corner, aka overlay. So this will tell you like what your battery percentage is, you know, your RAM, VRAM, of course. Uh, what your frames per second is uh, in certain games. So um, this is a nice handy, you know, thing to have. It will not work unless it's in full screen in the game. So keep that in mind. If it's in windowed mode, you can forget it. It's not going to work. But that's what that's for. So, yeah, I use this just depending on, you know, um, testing, you know, certain games or just depending on the game if I really want to utilize it. But that's totally up to you. You can adjust it, keep it on all, normal, simple, or off. Again, it's your preference, um, but uh, yeah, so that's what that's for. And then RSR, which is Radeon Super Resolution, basically it helps push the visual fidelity on your device even uh, farther. So it kind of gets rid of and irons out a lot of the kinks visually that you may have playing certain games. Me, personally, this device really doesn't have any visual problems, so I would keep it off. You can toy with it, test it, see if you see the difference if you want. Totally up to you. All right. Next thing here is the controllers. So um, obviously you have the vibrations at the medium. There's different light hall effects. So you can set this to one, two, three, and off. Um, you know, I'll show you in another video how to change the lighting, but yeah, that's what this is for. So you can set this to one, two, three, and off. Different modes like three, for example, would just, you know, give you this like, you know, alternating hue light effect. And then number two, you know, basically will like, you know, flash green, and then one would be the solid color you choose in the Legion Space settings, you know, which is another video I can make for you guys if you want to know about that. Um, and then all this stuff, touchpad, sensitivity, vibration, control of vibration, you know, self-explanatory. All right, and then the wrench here, this is the shortcuts, quick settings. You can adjust these to your liking. It's totally up to you. And then this here, basically, um, if you connect your device to an external monitor, you can prioritize which which you know visual display you want to set it to so that's up to you another choice and then you know disregard this question mark thing right here um but yes ladies and gentlemen that's it um so those that is a quick overview setting for the lenovo legion go for you all um i hope you all enjoy your device if you just got it um you know exciting things coming for 2025 um i appreciate the support uh, please like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications. This is Straight to the Point Tech. The next video will be on Legion Space. So look out for that. Peace.